Hello guys, in this video we will be talking about the concept of gene, ma gene mapping and different questions uh, which are uh, placed uh, in this left hand side of mine and we will discuss this. Now how can uh, sex be used to map chromosomes in bacteria? An HFR uh, 8 cell transfers its DNA to the recipient cell which is F- minus, at all constant rate. The fact makes it possible to map the gene sequence of the donor cell by simply interrupting the conjugation bridge after various time intervals and noting which genes have been transferred thus far. Okay, now let's move on. Now this is the second part. How can sex be used to map uh, these chromosomes in bacteria? Now the HFR still contains uh, uh, an integrated F factor that enables formation of sex pillars to transfer the chromosomal materials to F-. So this is the integrated F factor. Now, transfer of the HFR chromosome is linear and begins at the origin of F factor. In the classic experiment by Ullman Ull, uh, and Jacob, the cells were put together at time zero. At various time intervals, the cells were pulled apart, uh, uh, or importantly, most importantly, sex pillars uh, was pulled apart and the specific genes that had been transferred prior to the interruption were recorded in this data. Now you can see this here, so from st starting from zero then transfer is and right after uh, different time durations or time intervals, we, j we are just splitting off this conjugation bridge thus by thus separating these two types of genes, one is HFR, uh, two types of cells, HFR containing cell and F minus cell. As the chromosome in HFR cell is replicated and transferred to the F minus cell, the first element to be transferred is, uh, is, is uh, the F minus factor follows in the order by the genes closest to the F minus factor as you can see in this picture. So the black part was the F minus factor, then the genes like threonine, then leucine, then AZ, uh, AZI minus, then TUN minus, then LAC plus and all these things uh, will follow these uh, steps, right? So you can see in this, in this picture pretty carefully. So if we start disrupting this, by 10 minutes the second marker TONS has been transferred. This indicates that TONS lies close to the marker AZI because AZI first transferred into this F minus cell. By the 18 minute time after conjugation being begin, the third marker gene LAC plus has been transferred to the F cell. Okay. Finally, by the 25 minutes after conjugation began, the fourth genetic marker or GAL plus or Galactose plus has been transferred to the F minus cell. So, what we have learned, the four genes studied uh, here are located on the chromosomes in the following sequences, AZIS, then TONS, then LAC plus and then GAL plus with the AZIS being closest to the F minus factor. By repeating this experiment using other marker genes, it is possible to map the entire bacterial genome. Okay. By preparing this procedure, by repeating this procedure using different HFR strains and different F minus factor integration sites, uh, the location of all genes in E. coli have been uh, mapped, as you can see in this picture. Pretty complicated map, right? This map showing selected genes is uh, and it select genes in uh, divided into 100 minutes because that is how long it takes to transfer the entire genome uh, in the recipient cell. So if I magnify this, <coughs> we'll find uh, the picture. Now, uh, oh, page is not found. Anyways, so <coughs> this is uh, so uh, for a normal E. coli a DNA to be trans uh, transferred to the F minus cell from HFR bacterial strain, it will need hundred minutes. So the whole genome is divided into hundred minutes. Then you can form from the start point of F minus factor. Then uh, we'll go on for different genes which are placed one after another. Okay, so that's it and I hope it will help you. Thank you.